so our ancient gurus were not merely religious gurus they were scientists they were astronomers we had an enormous we had a very very ancient tradition of astronomical observations uh, let me uh, let me show you an example of that so take a look at this this is something we found in kashmir they found carvings in in kashmir in the kashmir valley which are about 6000 years old and it represents it it de- it depicts two suns in the sky with various constellations drawn around them so you know exactly where this event happened so it seems there were two suns in the sky about 6000 years ago between these various constellations so scientists at the tata institute of fundamental research tifr actually did some analysis of this they looked back at the astronomical data of what happened many thousands of years ago and they found that there was a supernova a dying uh, an exploding star that exploded around 6 around 4600 bce it's called supernova hb9 it it occurred precisely where it is depicted in this ancient 6000 year old carving it tells you that indians have been recording astronomical events for thousands of years and india had the most accurate ancient calendar of all time the indian traditional luni solar calendar is even today more accurate than the current western calendar we use today january february all that so our calendar is was so precise because of thousands of years of astronomical observations and data collection tycho brahe got data from indian astronomers via jesuit priests so there was there was a great deal of indian astronomical data that the jesuits stole from india brought to europe and his student kepler johannes kepler used all this voluminous data to compile the three kepler kepler's laws of motion so all of this data this incredible amount of ancient data came from india and much of western science if not most of western science is founded on a bedrock of indian science and astronomy and that is something that is denied today so indians the ancient indian gurus were scientists they were not just religious gurus we had many schools of philosophical thought including uh, atomism uh, and uh, you had a uh, things like nyaya and various other schools which were basically scientific schools of thought they they had actual models of the universe and, the, and models of the world the sage kanada kanada was an atomist he is the first human being known to earth known to us who propounded the atomic hypothesis that everything is made up of atoms and so on so india has a very 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 old thousands of years old scientific tradition which is why we were able to make so many ancient discoveries and when the greeks came to india during the time of chandragupta maurya when seleucus nicator sent his emissaries to chandragupta these greeks recorded that indians had a calendar called the saptarshi calendar that dated back to 6000 something bce that's 8008 more than 8000 years before today and they had lineages of thousands of kings so that is our ancient historical tradition we had an extremely precise calendar that took into account the precession of the of the equinoxes and much more it it can only be done if you have thousands of years of of astronomical data and very astronomic very accurate astronomical data so that's in brief about india's ancient scientific and astronomical traditions